Hi, welcome to another video about Arch Linux B. The B stands for build it yourself or build your own ISO. We can build um, different kind of ISOs based on Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, and this is new, and Arch Linux B, which was uh, already present. We've moved all the articles concerning the B factor here from Arch Linux D. So that's gone in Arch Linux D. You will you'll have a link here, phase four, and phase four is actually on Arch Linux B. Now these things, what I'm making now is new. We can also <coughs> make the Arch Linux D ISO. Just made this, this one that we use. Eh? When we put an ISO online, it's no changes made. But you as a person, as a user, you can say, I'm gonna use the Arch Linux D ISO, change a few things, and then add um, some elements. So the idea is still to have a bare minimal ISO, no desktop at, at all, but change elements in our packages. So what do we do? We go to this procedure, number one, Control C, right mouse click, open a new window, go to the desktop for instance, open terminal, and then you Control Shift V this thing. So it's there on your system. The last version will always be there when you git clone it. Control Shift 1 gives us this look, Control Shift 2 gives us this look, Control Shift 3 gives us this, right? I rather like this. Then we have the installation scripts. If we start running number 30, then nothing will change, right? But if we go inside <coughs> Arch ISO and take a look at the packages x86.64, this file here, and when we change those, then something will change. Now, I'm opening this, uh, yep, reload. I'm opening this with Sublime Text, which I advise you do. You have plain text, and when you add or tell the system, hey, this is not plain text, this is actually Perl, everything becomes <coughs> clearer, or rather darker. Everything that's dark is not installed on the ISO. So elements in here have been uh, blacked out, so Bumblebee is not in here, etc. So elements that you say, for my hardware, I need this or that, because, for instance, you've done already phase five, you, you really know what's necessary on your system, then you can put it already in there. So we provide you with this ISO to build yourself, so people with enough Linux skills, and we'll teach them and we'll explain more and more and make more and more tutorials. If you know what you need, you can burn it on the ISO, and it's there, you have it, and it's um, your personal ISO for your hardware. So we can add elements or we can say I'm gonna get rid of elements. For instance we say open VPN. We don't need a VPN. I'm not gonna use VPN for neither modem connections and all that. That's nothing for me. So I'm just gonna delete elements that I say I don't need it. And I don't have, I don't need a modem manager and mobile broadband is not for me either. I do not do need my network manager so this thing that's that one that one i need network manager applet well that's that's actually the applet where we clicked on and then behind is the network manager open connect necessary or not i should have a look but in this case it's just a tutorial so no getting rid of it and getting rid of that as well so not sure if you need it you have to check out hey what is network network manager open vpn these, the way I do it, you can do it. You can Google it, of course, but you can just type in network manager. You get all the network manager stuff. Click on the state here. This is all installed, so you can go and inside and say, okay, GNOME network manager licenses, and try to figure out, hey, what is this for? Do I need it? Yes or no? Follow the link and so on. So one by one, you or trial and error works as well, of course you decide what to have or not to have. So you can try out elements, you don't want printers. <coughs> I'm just thinking uh, here what else we could try. We could also install uh, some elements and in software. If you say I want to have software already available on my minimal, 
which is then not so minimal anymore of course um, then it you can go and see down here but the idea is actually to go and look at these upper elements so from line 1 till line here 211 and decide what elements you need from that this is just software you can always install software later or also say you don't want this so you can it's not on the ISO but that's a problem why is that a problem <coughs> your life ISO will be ugly that's a problem right of course you, you're the only one who sees it so that's fine by me but it will not be a nice live DVD um, so a lot of elements are in here elements that um, you maybe don't need maybe don't want you can see if you don't want to set the icons again the live ISO will look different and not that nice Packers query is for yours so if you say already yahoo is out I am going with yay and going with um, uh, with um, that one with Ryzen and yay those are the AOR helpers so these decisions are good decisions you'll see that the um, content of this package will change we're working on it and uh, it's all in the pipelines but it doesn't matter packages will change and must change in the future over time so you'll see different things but it's always the same analyze was it for do i need it do i want it do i want something else do i want to delete it um, but this this block up here is just a fixed block it's coming from arch iso wouldn't touch this anymore unless you know what you're doing and then xorg is here all the video probably you don't need all of them just a few of them so you can start by deselecting elements and see um, what you want what you need so that's the idea of this video not installing firefox and atom etc etc no but really taking a look at look at your hardware and see what can i get rid and uh, still have a working system then you know okay next time I'm going to make myself an Arca Linux ISO or an Arca Linux B ISO and then I know it will work. Just an idea of, um, well, a what if, right? Okay, that's it. So we are going to save. It is saved. Just checking. Saved. So if we have a different packages, then we need to build it again. So let's put this one here. Right mouse click, open terminal and go to number 30 and run it i've made the process a little bit different there's no three yeses anymore it just stops and holds everything so it skipped its standard yes and then everything just runs you can walk away and everything will be uh, created there's an iso coming in your home directory and it's going to be put in the place just scroll down, the last thing it does is if there is no Arch Linux D out, you make an Arch Linux D out and copy paste the ISO from there. So later on, Arch Linux D out will have an ISO. But for now, let's pause. It uh, was uh, finished uh, a minute ago or so, and we have now 933 megabytes Arch Linux D version out. And the only thing we have to do is test it. So we have the Arch Linux D build Arch D out this is the thing that has been just created let's have a look at 1813 and it's now 184042 so that's not correct that cannot be correct completely successful um well, it seems to be correct but strange that the hour is not 982 so just to be sure, find it strange, um, yeah, I definitely find it strange. So I'm going to check and control shift 2, not 1, that's better, Article Linux D, built in the build, in the arch ISO, in the out, we have this thing. Okay, when is this built? This has been built 1842. Oh, that's corrector so there must have gone something wrong with the copy uh, anyway so this is what I want going back to the Arch Linux 
D out, always use common sense, control V. And there is indeed a difference between one and the other. So replace, figuring that out later as Y. But this is the last ISO, so we're going to check that one. Super or Windows F7 arrives, Oracle, latest out Linux D. Choose this image, that's the last one from 642, that's correct. Open, double click, and we start. <coughs> so, I really don't know what I did, all changes I made. I'll have to look at the packages again what changes we made. We made something in a network manager, that's for sure. That should be completely different. Anyway, everything pops up, so that's nice. If something, if the Calamares installer does not pop up, go back, retrace your steps. You did something wrong. You've deleted something that Calamares needs. So that's the only way, that's, that's the learning phase, that's the fun and figuring out, hey, what makes this thing tick and what is necessary and what can I just throw overboard. That's the fun. And let's say it also sometimes the frustration. So in here we have here VPN connections, add a VPN, but control V, this is my other one, this is my VPN connections, add VPN, must be, look something, something must be different anyway, not sure what it is, this may be always standard there, but we did change some elements in the VPN area, so inside the desktop at Linux D, Control Shift 1, in here, we've changed a lot of things, not sure what they were again, but it was in here. The network stuff, mobile broadband, modem manager, Helen we Ah, Yahoo, for instance, is a possible check. Yeah, Yahoo is not there. Should not be there. That's a an, an nice and easy way to check that everything is okay. Um, this one, that one. So, in here already, open a new window, right mouse click, open terminal. No application selected. Yeah, other termites. Okay, okay. And then you say yaourt. Does not exist. But ye is there, and Tryzen is there, but yaourt has been deleted from our system. So it is without a doubt the last packages. So the package we created, um, the list we created, has been applied. And this is now. Our new system we're booting into it this login of course then check hey what are the fastest mirrors around that's for the arch linux mirrors and when that's done you update and when that's done you update the AUR <coughs> that's been done Trying again, Yahoot is not there, but Ye is, and that's good. So we've uh, now a changed Arch Linux D version. All right, enjoy figuring out what you need and what you don't. Cheers. <laughs>